Today is August the 31st. Today we'll see that actions have consequences. How? Well, let's find out together as we read Psalm 90 and 91 and Proverbs 23. Today we begin book five of uh, book four of the book of Psalms, um, reading Psalm 90 and 91. Now, as we look through book four, which is Psalm 90 to Psalm 106, titles are rare. There are not many titles at all. Psalm 90 is simply called a prayer of Moses. Psalm 91 has no title. It may be that it's an extension of Moses's prayer. In Psalm 90 and 91, uh, the theme that the Psalm of Moses follows is God's eternity. God is eternal. He makes many references in the opening verses to the fact that although our existence is finite, God's existence is long-term. Moses says equally God's plan is implemented on his timeline, that eternal timeline. Sometimes our finite timeline, we may think that God has run out on us. He hasn't, but his timeline fits his eternal existence. Sometimes he takes a lot longer than we wish he would. In Psalm 91, the psalmist comes back and says, nevertheless, God will rescue us. Now, as we move on to Psalm 23, remember that we are now looking at the sayings of the wise. These are not necessarily sayings of Solomon. We'll come back to that in just a few chapters. But here, it seems to me that most of the uh, psalms, almost many parables that um, Solomon is quoting here, hinge around the phrase, actions have consequences. Um, when dining with the ruler, pay attention to what's put before you. If you're a big eater, put a knife to your throat. Your actions have consequences. Verse 4, don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. Be wise enough to know when to quit. Actions have consequences. Um, we come down to uh, uh, the, the very end uh, from verse 26 to 28 is about uh, following uh, seductive women. Verse 29 to verse 35 is about becoming drunk. Um, actions have consequences. So in the middle of Psalm 23, we have several actions that the psalmist says, instead of doing that, try this. Look, for example, at um, Verse 12, commit yourself to instruction. Listen carefully to words of knowledge. If you're going to do an action, do that. Verse 17, don't envy sinners, but always continue to fear the Lord. Verse 19, my child, listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Actions have consequences. Good actions yield good consequences. Bad actions, bad consequences. Verse 23, get the truth and never sell it. Get wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. Actions have consequences. Whether they're good actions or bad actions, they will yield the fruit of the action that was sown. Like, follow, and subscribe to this podcast on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Tomorrow, we'll look 
in the book of Acts at Paul's new missionary strategy.